Right guys, before we start the video, I'd just like to say that this obviously was filmed on Sunday at the Toy Fair. Uh, two days later on Tuesday, me and Steph welcomed into the world a beautiful baby boy called Ezra. So the video is filmed before the baby arrived and obviously it's now come out after the baby's arrived. So uh, he is doing great. He looks a lot worse than he is because he's in a little incubator. Got a few tubes in him helping him breathe and uh, feed. That's uh, only generally because he's just a month premature. So he's just getting a little bit of a helping hand to make sure he grows and that's all it is. There's nothing uh, to worry about with him. So thank you everyone who sent messages. Thank you everyone who's uh, just got in contact with me, reached out to me. Absolutely love all the positive and all the amazing messages you guys have sent us. So enjoy the video. Obviously I'm gonna put in a quick like, subscribe and all that lot. And I will see you very, very soon for some more hunting and uh, just enjoy the video guys. What's going on guys? Aaron here at Empire Toys 1138. I'm with Dan, Mr. Dan Plastic. We are bombing it down to Totten Toy Fair right now for our first Toy Fair hunt of the year. Are you excited? Looking forward to it man. Looking at a nice breakfast. Meeting up with Sam from Bugs' Toy Box. Yeah, haven't seen him in a long time. Um, so Hopefully someone like uh, Robbo and whatnot will be there and, and the Kaineki. It's be nice yeah. to see those guys. Big uh, Mountain, uh, Cushy Comics that are in Basingstoke. Yeah. yeah. Sue Sarah. Big up Ricky. Us. Big up Ricky. I know he's going to be selling with his uh, Power Ranger stuff. So yeah, yes yeah. man. Looking forward to that. And, um, Jody. Jody. Be there always, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun. Although I'm looking to spend as little as possible, just so you know. Yeah, re remember that now. And then on, the <laughs> on the Toy Division live stream, we've spent 150 million pounds on these toys. Not today. I reckon you're gonna spend big. Nah. I reckon you're gonna see something today and be like, that's it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going in. Yes. You're going to get, get overexcited, I tell you well, that That now. does happen every now and then. Yeah. Like that, Saying it now, <laughs> after this he'll be showing off some wicked cool thing that he spent big money on. <laughs> Dan, you look like you're making some big boy purchases. Well, semi big boy purchases. <laughs> I've got uh, Julian that I'm meeting up with, he's doing a little uh, backseat uh, out of the boot deal with me on some Black Series, so looking forward to that. And he also reached out of me about a vintage collection car of June to go on my Razor Crest, so hopefully going to grab that. And of course, just looking out for some street sharks, anything else that takes my fancy, and obviously those little bits that you know just creep out of nowhere that just you know have to come home with you. So, breakfast? Oh, mate, breakfast wrap. Breakfast wrap. We'll see you in a bit. This is the only uh, street shark I've seen so far today, and unfortunately, I think I already had this guy. But he's missing his hand missiles, his mouth missile, a couple of the pipes that go through the back, which is a shame. But it's the only one I've seen so far, so I have to keep looking. So this is a cool piece we have here, a very uncommon Captain Planet. I've never actually seen this before. And on the outside, it's a load of dustbins that seem to fly off. This is a German box, uh, du uh made by Kenner, and this is a very uh, sought after, hard to find Captain Planet. And this could even be a European exclusive, so which is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. It's got quite a lot of uh, sun damage to it, which is a shame, but it's still a really nice piece. I don't know what Robbo's got price wise on it, but it is cool and uh, just show it there. Got the gang there. Du hast die Mitch. Don't know what that means. We'll have to translate that. But you know, Du hast is a great Ramstein song. The nice thing about it too is that it's got the rubbish. A little baggie there. And you can see it's got the lids for the bins in there. And it's got all its inserts in there. I'm not going to open it in case I break it. But it's still a really cool piece. So we've got uh, loads of toy bits in here. Toy bits Rhino, Spider-Man, Cyclops there. Love these toy bits figures. All armoured Wolverine. Some from the Iron Man toy line there. We've even got a bit of swamp thing hiding behind there. Cool figures, you could probably uh, 
grab a few of them and stick them in your uh, Jurassic Park, couldn't you? Kenner, all the same toy lines. There's more X Men in there. Like the in. Loads of the sort of the random night stuff that they did. Some X Force in there. More X Men. Oh, that's a cool night caller. Like his uh, swashbuckling sword he's got there. Bit of Fat Man in there. Riddler. Figures, oh, that juggernaut. I like that. Big old juggernaut. And it's 25% uh, off, whatever the price is. So, uh, Robos and Dan, you look like you make some big boy purchases. Well, semi big boy purchases. But uh, yeah, a couple of glorious top. You see the glow in the dark Chewbacca. It's mental. I love yeah. his face. That yeah. big old smile. Yeah. And um, Brainhead, which I've, I've left several, several times before. But Robbo's done me a very, uh, a very nice deal on the pair, which I appreciate. Nice so one. I could, more. I, I did. I could buy them all. Uh, look, how, look how good this one is. He's cool. I was looking at this guy. Second yeah, one. really cool. But he's like a crap Darth Vader. Yeah, fish face. Ad Akbar. Oh yeah. <laughs> Purple Akbar. But sit fun with 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 weapons. Look at this dude. Yeah, the sunglasses. Bro, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yum yum. Like a like a site. Was that called a cyclone? Whatever it is. Oh yeah. Like, um, cyclone Vader. What's it? What's the Battle Star? Battle Star Galactica. Yeah. How did I forget that? Yeah. yeah. Hello, you alright? Crazy. And then we got some uh, Joes here. Oh, mental. Some of the cool bits. So I've just found uh, an arachnid, again at Totten, on the Kaniki stall. This is the uh, Gloob arachnid, smaller version, you can see there, fits in my hand. Uh, for, <laughs> for a bit more of a friendlier price, uh, this is going to be £10, so I'm going to pick that up. I'm very happy with that. do love a bit of Sarsu Troopers, especially the Gloob figures, so I'm going to grab that and it's going to go with my uh, minis and with my rest of my uh, Sarsu Troopers at home. I just uh, Pick this up from Big Mountain. Quick little five pound buy, but uh, look at that cheeky little chap in there. So happy with that. Don't be jelly. <laughs> couple of monsters in my pocket, a couple of mimps, a couple of muscle men. All fun stuff in a little bag. Sam, talk to me. Lucy's, mate. Lucy's? Yeah, Lucy's yeah. Star Wars. Still on that hype? Yeah. I still enjoy getting the uh, the beta figures that no one else loves enough to to pay money for. Because <laughs> we all know that you know, when you get that into Star Wars that you're worried about a tiny little hand rub, you're boring. <laughs> you're boring, mate. That's your problem. You're boring. Yeah. Stop sucking the fun out of it. So as soon as you see a uh, a figure in a plastic coffin, nah, I don't want that. Nah, basically. I, I want the baggy ones. I want yeah. The beaters. Or the or the loose ones, the ones that have got a finger missing or something. Love it. <laughs> So I'm back from Totten Toy Fair and I've had a really fun day hanging out, talking toys, going around, buying a few little bits and checking out the amazing sellers that are down there. Always a good laugh, Totten. It's just a, a nice little small fair that just packs a little bit of a punch. It's got some great sellers, some great figures on display. Not too mental with like people there so you can get a good look at all the stalls and everything. Me and Dan, we bombed down there. We grabbed a bit of breakfast. We met Sam, one half of Bugsy's Toy Box. And we all just had a really fun day walking around, chatting, catching up, and just checking the toys out. A few pickups that I bought from the show. So the first one I picked up was from the Kanikis. So it might have been a little bit of a cheeky pre-arranged deal, but uh, super stoked with that. That is the Arachnid Warrior from Gloob Starship Troopers. You'll have seen it in the video. Uh, super stoked with that. After the last Totten video, he messaged me saying he had one he was getting rid of. Uh, did me a crazy little good price. So happy with that. Uh, great army builder, and it will go perfectly with my other Gloob Starship Trooper figures. Now the other thing I bought was this bag of plastic goodness, which I picked up from the Fig Mountain stall. Now normally, probably would have completely gone by this, but it didn't have one of their little red stickers on, so I knew it wasn't gonna be too expensive. Uh, I paid five pound for the bag, absolute bargain. The main reason why I bought this, and even Dan didn't spot this, and he was a bit confused why I would have spent a fiver on it. There he is, a little cheeky, colored in, 
bag eggs bunch in there. So I'm pretty stoked with that, a little bag eggs bunch hidden away in the bag of minifigures so that will probably end up going to Andy to be fair to have a look at it. It's been coloured in, it's supposed to be orange not green so I'm going to try and find a way of giving him a little clean up and hopefully bring him back to his nice bright orange or maybe even actually no red actually more red than orange color so super happy with that and obviously there was a few more little minifigures inside there so we got some cool little minifigures a few little monsters in my pocket there that's cool that one minotaur one there it's kind of i don't know looks like he's holding i don't know i don't even know what he's holding tv remote <laughs> classic ones there so as you can see it's not really the minifigures i was after although i probably might keep this one i quite like this purple one but it's kind of like a half bird with a big mouth don't know really what's going on there but i like that one and i'm going to keep this one as well this kind of half dragon gundam uh, I'm not too sure what that one is from obviously it's a little gundam but he's got like a cool dragon gear going on so i'm definitely going to be keeping that one and obviously as well there's a few my pet monsters hidden away do you remember getting them in the little cereals i always remember picking this one out of the cereal so cool little my pet aliens in there weird little backpacking looking dude there and a cool like sort of lumberjack check shirt muscle man there so super stoked with that, nice little find. So a friend of the channel, Julian, reached out to me. He lives down sort of the Totten, so that kind of area. He always comes to Sandown and everything like that. Uh, he reached out to me saying he was said after my last Kempton video, I picked up the carbonized Cara June, but I was looking to get the proper normal version. And he sorted me out, said he was getting rid of his. So we have here the normal version of Cara June. So happy with that because I just didn't quite like the carbonized look to her when I got it back and compared it with the other figures on my Razor Crest back there. So she'll be getting opened up and she'll be going with the rest of the Razor Crest crew. So super happy with that. He also told me that he was getting rid of a lot of his Black Series figures and did I want to have a look. So went out, checked out the uh, back of his van, which obviously someone offers you candy at the back of the van, you don't take it, but someone offers you toys, you run straight out there and see what they've got. These are just going to go on the stall. We've got Cosca Reeves there. We've got um, Q90 from the first season of The Mandalorian. We've got the Armourer. She's there, the normal version of her. And we've also got a best car version of the Mandalorian Din Djarno himself, which is pretty cool. He's obviously a popular character. He'll go well. We've got the Remnant Stormtrooper here. And we've got the Migs Mayfield in the Morak disguise from season two. So that's a... Uh, Obviously take his helmet off and you've got Migs Mayfield behind there. I do kind of like the sandy look to the Stormtrooper with the kind of damage to it. So it's a pretty cool figure. I never actually picked him up in the normal when I was sort of going mad on collecting them. I don't really know why. I just never got around to it. So um, obviously Black Series collecting is long past now. So I won't be keeping him. And again, you're going straight onto the uh, stall for the next Comic-Con or Toy Fair. He also had uh, two of the heavy infantry Mandalorians here. So, uh, Viz Pazla, I think he, is it Vazla? I can't remember what the name was of that guy from the show, but yeah, two heavy duties there. So he did me a nice deal. He had some more vintage collection stuff and a couple more Black Series. Maybe further down the line, we can do another deal. But for the time being, I just picked them up. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do appreciate every single one of you who do watch. I always say it, but I always gotta make sure that you guys know that how much I do care that you guys take your time out to watch the videos. Um, I don't know what's happening next month because obviously Baby is due very, very soon. So hopefully I'm gonna be at Kempton if I get a chance to having a walkabout, not selling, and the same as Sandown in February. Hopefully uh, I'll just have some free time where I can just pop down, see everyone, say hi, and uh, make a nice little video. But other than that, hopefully April NEC will be the next toy show I'll be selling at. So hopefully you see a lot of you there. In the meantime, please make sure you are following the Toy Division Facebook page and on the YouTube channel for Toy Division so we can keep doing our weekly live streams. We're really looking for a big push this year on the Toy Division channel. So hopefully more of you can come hang out with us on a Wednesday night. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you very, very soon. And don't forget, again, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Guys, take it easy. Peace.